Um, Lieutenant Greg Bueno told me after seeing that video, he called it drag racing as opposed to just racing because it involved multiple vehicles. An offense that if a driver is found guilty of, could get their license revoked. It appears that all three were trying to outdistance each other. That's textbook drag racing. Lieutenant Greg Bueno didn't mince words when describing this late night showdown on US 41. That's a game. We don't play games on our roadways. Uh, we, we take driving serious, 100% focus on the wheel. Late Monday night, a dash camera caught two cars and a motorcycle revving their engines and peeling out from this stoplight at West Tarbon Boulevard in Port Charlotte. Even today, you can still see the fresh wheel marks left by one of them. Lots of pedestrians here, lots of foot traffic all the time. It's pretty scary sometimes. Ron Peplau runs this mattress shop right where it happened and says it's not the first time. I travel 41 between all three of our stores all the time, and I've seen all kinds of drag racing. In response, Charlotte County deputies say they'll be on the lookout for more racers like these and are reminding drivers that this can land you in cuffs. If it's deemed to uh, meet the criteria of the statutes for uh, racing, that's a criminal offense, and yeah, they could be taken to jail for that. In Port Charlotte, Alex Howard, NBC2.